Hello, welcome to Google AdWords online class. Today we're going to talk about mobile preferred ads. Last week, Lisa told you about mobile bid adjustment, how to have the best mobile bid strategy. Today we're going to talk about mobile preferred ads. So how can you make and optimize your ad for mobile devices? As Lisa mentioned last week, now mobile is booming. And you can also all see it around you in, in all type of African countries. So you need to make sure that your business has a presence on mobile, thanks to AdWords. Mobile preferred ads will help you to make sure that your ad are also attractive when people see them from a smartphone or a tablet. So you can reach more customers while they're on the go and when they're searching for products and services you provide from their mobile. To make sure your ad look great on the small screen, you can create what we call mobile optimized ad or mobile preferred ads. So you need to adapt your message, your display URL, and your destination URL to the mobile device. You can just tailor them to the mobile screen. To do so, you can first of all make sure your message is adapted to mobile. So give a call to action that makes sense for mobile user. For example, call us now. And then you just need to tick the small box once you have created an ad, like normal ad from your, your ads tab in AdWords, and you tick the box mobile. If your ad group contains ads that are eligible to appear on all devices and also mobile optimized ad, only your mobile optimized ad will appear on mobile devices. So now we have helped you to create mobile preferred ad, so ads that are optimized for mobile screen. However, that's it. that is not all. You need to make sure that when people have looked for some devices, services, or product in, your, in Google search and they have seen your ad, if they have clicked on it, it means they were interested in your business. Then you need to make sure you don't lose the customer, potential customer, when they arrive on your website. So you need to make sure your website is also mobile friendly. And here are, you, here are a few tips to help you do so. First thing you need to make sure is to think about content. What content your audience is likely to use uh, and to read on their mobile. Mobile user want things to be quick and any action they need to complete should be easy to accomplish on, accomplish on a small device. So make it clear. Don't squeeze your normal website for a mobile website. Make sure that all the content that will appear on a small screen is relevant content but make sure you don't have too much so you don't want to lose because you don't want to lose the customer. The second point is white space and it goes with content. It's really important to make sure your mobile is friendly, is intuitive and has a good look and feel. So you want to make sure your website is adapted to mobile and by doing so you will actually retain your potential customer. So always think about what content should I keep and how should I organize the content of, on my mobile website. The third point is big buttons. As we said, um, as I just said, it's important that every action people do on a website is easy to do. Big buttons are really great because they help you to do something clear and they give a direct call to action to people and that's an easy way to, to, to make them perform this action. So be clear and give them call to action with big button. So they are one click away to do this action. Next week, Ben, our colleague Ben, will talk about mobile extension. So in other words, how to make sure your ad is appealing for mobile. Thanks for watching.